you've got it way too close to this. I feel like if I put my thumb right here, you can't tell one from the other. Mm -hmm. When I look up there, it's clearly, this jug is clearly darker than anything that's happening yeah. down here. Yeah. And so this, you know, is one way to look at it and, and see the difference. Mm -hmm. So what I would do in your situation, if you don't mind me to, if you don't mind me taking over here for a second, because again, I think it's, now nah, I'll use a bigger one, we'll just, we'll just go at it. All right, so here's, here's the things that I would do. All right, I agree a lot with what you have here, all right, but it's this side here. I'd want to bring all of this down. Okay, so all that has to come down. Um, and then this comes down here, and we see, again, you don't have the room really to do it, but we, we've, got a, we've got an area that folds. Different sides, work surfaces, so I can match. Yeah. Okay. And then we need to bring some of that light in here. You should see the, the dark cloth starting to emerge. All right. mm -hmm. What's happening is you, you're seeing the light in it, but it's it, uh, you're overpowering your picture with, with, its, with the, the intensity. Mm -hmm. um, it is sometimes difficult to translate all that intense color into black and white. Those are some of the major changes to start making it look more solid. Yeah. Okay. okay. 
So when you see when you see this area like this, try not to see all those little details that those can be applied later. But what's right. happening is you're making it too bright. I still want to bring this down darker in some areas, right. okay, and, and restructure this as much as I can. Um, so I'm going back in, and pulling the structure in first before I go and put the details in. And we're going to see that very clearly when we go over to Ken's. Okay. All right. Um, you might